Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday, which is not being uploaded on Friday for the first time. There was a little issue with the Japan episode, sorry about that. I am currently filming this on location. I am in Italy at my host Frederico's house. Uh, this is his room, he's really cool, he's a musician, so yeah. In any case, yes, I am fully aware that we used the wrong image of Akira Toriyama. We just used Hayao Miyazaki's picture twice for some reason. And yes, I am aware that in the country cutout image of Japan, the Kuro Islands are included. But by the time the video was uploaded, it was too late and I couldn't fix it, so sorry. In any case, we gotta talk about the flag and stuff. So, without further ado... Ah, Japan, we've all been exposed to this country one way or another. I feel like everybody knows at least a little bit of something about Japan. So, let's just jump into the flag and stuff, shall we? The flag, known as the Hinomaru, or Circle of the Sun, is a white banner with a crimson red circle in the center. The flag embodies the nickname of Japan known as the Land of the Rising Sun, with the crimson circle representing the Rising Sun, due to its location as one of the furthest East Asian countries that typically gets to see the sun rise first. Do you get it now? Do you get it? Anyway, the sun has always played a symbol of honor and plays a huge role in Japanese mythology as the chief deity goddess Amaterasu is said to be the ancestor of the ruling imperial house of Japan. It is said that the earliest use of the flag was recorded in the Shinto book Shoku Nihongi in which Emperor Monmu was said to have used it in 701 AD. This flag has generally kind of stayed the same since then except there are a few variants that have popped up here and then. I'm sure you've probably seen the one from World War II with the sun rays. And now the coat of arms which is not a coat of arms but a seal and it comes in two different forms the Polonia seal and the imperial seal. The imperial seal, known as the chrysanthemum seal, is used both by the Japanese government and the emperor of Japan and the imperial family, often found on passports and money as well. The seal is a yellow chrysanthemum with 16 petals and 16 petal tips behind them. Some people in the imperial family use a 14 petal seal, however overall it just symbolizes the authority of the emperor. The polonia seal on the other hand is used by the cabinet and government of Japan representing the polonia plant with similar patterns of two smaller branches on the sides of a big one in the middle. Some have three flowers, versus five, and others have five versus seven versus five. Five, seven, five, like a haiku. Now keep in mind there are over 140 seals. However, the five, seven Polonia seals are used to symbolize the prime minister of Japan, whereas the others take on various other governmental sectors. Keep in mind before the chrysanthemum, this was actually used by the imperial family as their seal. Also the prefecture flags look really cool. They're just like simple, bold imagery that depicts some kind of thing that represents their region. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That was pretty easy. And uh, you know what that means? Means now it is time for geography fan mail time, which the next footage I'm about to show you was pre recorded at my house in LA. All right, we're gonna make this quick because this is pre recorded footage, and at the time of filming this, I have to leave for my flight to the Heritage trip in about 20 minutes, so let's go. Okay, uh, Lara from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, no, your name is Cooper. Why did you write Lara on your letter? Okay. Uh, my name is Cooper. I'm in the eighth grade and I am currently a cadet in the Airman First Class of the Civil Air Patrol. Wait, you're in eighth grade, but you're part of the Airman First, what? Is that okay? Okay. Uh, we are the largest fleet of Cessnas in the world. And uh, you sent me your two uh, cadet Airman First Class rank pins? Is that okay? Is that legal for you to send me these? I don't know. Uh, okay, well, thank you. All right, we got uh, uh, Slovenia from Sasha and Michael. Uh, my brother and I are big fans of your show. Your videos are always very interesting and entertaining. We issue the best of luck and keep up the great work. Greetings from Slovenia. We have great beer too. Thanks a lot, Sasha and Michael. All right, this is from Joan from Malaysia. My name is Joan. I am currently 21 years old and I'm studying architecture in Taylor's University, Subang Jaya, Malaysia. Says, hope you visit Malaysia again. Joan, really hope I do. Thank you. This is a really cool postcard. All right, this is really cool. Got a postcard from Kuwait from Isaac. Hey, Barbs, my name is Isaac. Isaac, I'm from Louisiana, but I am in the army and currently deployed in Kuwait. Your videos help pass the time here. Love your work. <laughs> Appreciate that. I know you guys probably have a lot of down downtime in the Middle East. Uh, first of all, thank you for your services. And uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying Kuwait. All right, this is really cool. Uh, Daniel from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, but he is living in New Zealand and you are on the Bolacha side of the Bolacha Biscoito War. But this is the best part. He sends more Marmite. You guys know how much I love this stuff. I love putting it on my toes. More Marmite, the more the merrier. The more Marmite, the more Marmiteier. Uh, this is from Yosef from the Czech Republic. Uh, it's so cool. I'm Yosef from the Czech Republic. I also love your vids, but please don't call our country Czechia. It's a terrible name. See, here's the thing. I've heard people say they like it and they hate it. I've heard people on both sides of the spectrum. And he also says, uh, try to pronounce some words for me. It's, it looks like it says Trista 
three get three three but no that's and okay yeah i already butchered the whole thing this is from spain hey barbs i'm vasconium i'm sending over some stuff for you he sends a uh catalonia flag and a basque country flag a lot of controversy with these two in terms of spain but uh yeah thank you for the flags i don't have these yet so uh thank you for sending them man and uh this package is from vaklav and he says czechia mm, controversy the other guy said he hated the word czechia hi my name is Vaklov and I am your fan from Czechia. He wrote it. I'm not saying it. I'm just writing. I'm just reading what he wrote. Thank you so much for using our country's official short geographical name. It gives me a big promise that people from all over the world are learning about Czechia. What is this? I don't even know what this is. It looks like a sharp object. I don't know what this is. He sends a Czechia hat. Czechia jersey. Look at that. So uh, sorry if you do not like the word uh, Czechia. Some people do though. Uh, it's uh, it's, it's uh, kind of a debate going on, but all right. All right, so that being said, you know what time it is? Don't it's... give him any more stuff. <laughs> he doesn't need any more stuff. <laughs> He's giving me a ride to the airport. So you know what time it is? It's a return address contest. I put all your return addresses in this bag. I pick one out. Whoever I pick gets a little gift from me. All right, you know what? Actually, Scoots, come here. You, you, you pick okay, one. Okay. All right. You just okay. pick one, just pick okay, one. Just pick one. Read the first name and the country they're from. Okay, this is Jacob from Germany. Germany! Germany! Jacob. Jacob from Germany, you win. You win. All right. So thank you guys so much. Uh, subscribe if you'd like, and uh, hope you're doing well. I love putting your countries on display. You've just been flagged. Stay cool, stay tuned.